Hello from California. This is Sandy from Messy Paper Crafts, your number one online store with the most exciting crafting items. And welcome to this week's episode of What's in this box? And if you love paper, then I have fantastic news for you because we have brand new releases by Craft O'Clock. So let's get that out. So as you can see, we have amazing new releases here and there are three new releases. In fact, there is this one, which is called Vintage Love and it has so many beautiful accessories. Absolutely amazing. Then we have Vintage Sky and then we have Spring Charm, which is obviously perfect for Easter and yeah, the whole spring season. But let's start with this one here first which is called Vintage Sky. And let's open the 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper. So with the Craft O'Clock 12 by 12 paper pad, you always get six double-sided papers and 12 designs and then one extra sheet on the cover. So you can use this as well, which is really nice. And I love this vintage sky design because it has these beautiful blue tones and beige and these gorgeous flowers. And it's perfect if you are not into the typical green or maybe Valentine's spring related releases, but if you like it more shabby chic and a little bit more vintage. And I just think the color combination of blue and brown and beige, that's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, every sheet is different and just, yeah, Stunning. I love this here with the scribbles and the flowers, such gorgeous detail. And then one here again with these flowers and all of this distressed look here with the water droplets and this kind of rustic vintage look. I think it's so beautiful. And then I love this backside here as well. And then one more of those beautiful flower images and then this gorgeous background here as well. So I love all of those designs. However, if you needed a smaller one, then you can also get the 8x8 or the 6x6. So the 6x6 is exactly the same as the 12x12, except that you get 24 double-sided papers and 4x6 sheets. And the cover is the same, it's just a little bit smaller. So here you have the same, but in 6x6. However, in the 8x8, you get a slightly different cover. So here you could cut out four times these smaller elements, which is nice if you want to layer them on top of something. So I think this is pretty cool. So a little bit different, but otherwise you have the same images as you've just seen, but here you get them also 24 times, four times six in the eight by eight. Just flipping through here quickly, just so that you get an idea. So pretty versatile here as well. And what I love about Craft O'Clock is that they have a lot of variety to put on top of your project. So we don't have ephemera here, but they bring out these sets, which are called extra sets. And I joked about this many times before because I love that sometimes I have an extra, extra, extra set. <laughs> so um, a little bit confusing because sometimes it's like your typical ephemera that you can cut out. Then other times I have things where you can create maybe a box or like different projects and that's like a junk journaling extra set. And I think a new thing, <laughs> a new extra set, is now this basic paper set. I don't know if it's brand new or if I've just never seen it before, but I thought this is stunning because if you are more into art journaling or yeah, like I said, maybe more card making projects, then maybe this size is great for you and just offers you a little bit more variety. So let's open this as well. So yeah, as I said, this is called Vintage Sky Basic Paper Set. And here you get 18 double-sided papers and three times six designs and plus one extra pattern on the other side of the cover. So this is absolutely beautiful. I love this old postcard look. 
so gorgeous and obviously fits beautifully together with the paper. And here we just have, yeah, kind of like cutouts from the 12 by 12. So it just gives you another dimension. So I think, especially for art journaling, maybe it makes sense with this dimension because maybe the 12 by 12 is like too big in its pattern, but then the eight by eight doesn't really fit on it because then maybe it's too short. So here we just get one more option where we have all of these great backgrounds. And again, the color scheme, I think is beautiful. And yeah, the patterns are also a little bit different, but yeah, fits beautifully together with the same tones, like lots of blue, I love this here. Like blue and beige, I think that's my favorite color combination. It just goes with everything. It's not kitschy, it's subtle, and it's romantic. And whoops, here somehow we have another sheet of the cover for some reason. And then it starts again. So lots and lots of choice in one of those basic paper sets. And yeah, as I said before, I love how all of this works together. And this is now your ephemera package where you can do your fussy cutting. And here you also get 12 double-sided papers and two times six designs, and then one extra to cut on the other side of the cover. So this obviously is inspired by this vintage sky line where we have all of these beautiful elements here with, yeah, kind of these gorgeous drawings here. So very vintage old school and here we have these beautiful butterflies dragonflies so that obviously fits nicely with spring together and here we have these beautiful like wings if you like it a little bit more mystical then that works nicely together here we have this beautiful like old music instrument and yeah this more shabby chic look I love this chair, these books, and yeah, lots of things that you can cut out here. And then one sheet here with birds and letters. Really nice. And then for some reason, they give us always now another one of those. Okay, more things to cut out, I don't complain. But as I said, then it starts again because you get all of those designs twice. So I think this is amazing because this definitely gives you a lot of options to layer things on, especially if you're into card making where you just want to layer in the same styles more and more motifs, or if you want to form some kind of cluster to make it more interesting, then I think in Craft O'Clock you definitely have a great brand because they bring out a lot of accessories. So this was Vintage Sky. Let me put this to the side and let's talk about this one, which is called Vintage Love. So here we also have the 12 by 12, the 8 by 8 and the 6 by 6. And as you already know, the only difference is once again that the 8 by 8 has this kind of smaller cutout sheet here where you can just layer things on top. But let's have a look at the 12 by 12. And similar as before, on the inside, you get this bonus sheet. However, here it's not um, a background, as we've seen before. Here you can actually cut out these elements, which is really nice. Once again, just gives you more variety. And look at this lovely paper here. So yeah, Vintage Love is a name, and I think this works, yeah, fits really nicely together because we have this beautiful rose motif here and then once again this distressed vintage yeah nostalgic look and then in combination with this red really nice so once again if you're not into kitschy or too poppy stuff then i think craft the clock is your brand because it's always subtle and yet with a little bit of boldness to it so i think this is absolutely stunning and usually green and red is not my <laughs> kind of color scheme. As I said before, I love blue and brown or beige tints together. But here, this is interesting as well, I have to say, just because I love that it's so nostalgic and not too kitsch. So I think this works really nicely together. This is very beautiful here as well. 
kind of like an old wallpaper or something like that. So yeah, definitely vintage. And I love all these roses. And this is really beautiful all together as well. If you think about layering things together, if you're into card making, or of course, if you would create a scrapbook with some nostalgic retro photos, and yeah, I think this is nice and works beautifully together. Yeah, really nice paper, I have to admit, even so, I kind of thought, yeah, red and green is not really so what I usually like, but I think here it's absolutely gorgeous. And as I said before, here comes now, <laughs> yeah, the extra, 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 extra set. So somehow they brought out more um, things for this one here, which I, yeah, well, I'm not complaining about at all. I'm just trying to see the different names here. So this extra set is called Vintage, and this one is Flowers. And then once again, we have this, what I think is a new product, which is a basic paper set. And then here we have what I mentioned before, this album album junk journal extra set. So let's start with that just because I told you already about that, but so that you can see it with your own eyes, what this extra set actually is. So yeah, as I try to describe, I think with some of these elements, you can create like a little box or some kind of gift card thing maybe, because if you look closely, I hope you can see that, you have these folding lines here. So you could cut that out and then fold it together. And then this way, yeah, you can somehow create these different shapes with that. I think this is such a great idea and I just love these color combinations. <laughs> Very unusual for me, but I think this works so nicely together. And then here again, we have this bonus sheet where you can also create this corner here and then these different boxes. At least that's what it looks to me like gift card shapes or something like that. Or of course, you don't have to do this at all. You could also just cut this out and then you just have a different layer. But yeah, it could also be some kind of filing card. And maybe it's great when you create these albums because I just always love these um, yeah, designs that people come up with inside an album where you have like little pockets where you can maybe have a secret little note or something like that. So maybe, yeah, if you're into album creation, you might know a lot more about that than me because usually I'm creating cards and I have to still create an album with all of those different pocket elements. And here we have these beautiful rectangular shapes where you can layer everything together. Here we have more elements to cut out, like these beautiful tickets here and more vintage looks, like an old film strip here and like a measurement tape, stunning designs. And then the backgrounds are gorgeous as well. And then one more again. And then again, one more of the cover sheet. I'm not sure if that's a mistake, but hey, one free sheet of paper. I'm not complaining here at all. So more things to cut out in this album junk journal extra set. So that all comes together. And as I said before, 12 double sided papers, two times six designs. So lots and lots of options here. Then let's open this one here, this paper, no, what's that called again? Basic paper set. So here we have these beautiful backgrounds again. And yeah, a little bit different color combinations. And yeah, I love all of these different elements here as well, that it's just a different perspective. So not as big as the top by 12, not as small as the eight by eight. Like once again, maybe perfect if you're into album creations, like a junk album or junk journal. And look at this paper, that's so gorgeous, oh my God. And yeah, for somebody like me, who's normally not so much into red, <laughs> I'm very surprised by that. But I think this is so beautiful. And then again, another one of these cover sheets. Once again, more stuff to cut. But yeah, as I said, then you have three times 
these six designs. So I think this is great because this way you have yeah, definitely lots and lots of options to fill your album or to create lots of different cards. And then we have these fussy cutting pieces here. Let's start with the flower one. And I think this is so cool that you have so many things that you can just add together. So here you can cut out different flower elements or of course you can also use these as a background. So beautiful rose seams here. Just yeah, great color options once again to layer this all on top of each other. And then if you're not into the flower ones and we have lots of leaves here. And then once again, here we start again and with the cover sheet again. So that's beautiful because this way you have so many things to cut because even with these extra sheets here, you can use this even as a background or can cut out all of those elements, which I think is really, really nice. And last but not least of this vintage love design, once again, 12 double-sided papers and two times six designs. And I love all of these yeah, nostalgic, shabby chic elements here. They're so beautiful, like this dream catcher here and these butterflies, books. Here it says love. And probably nice for somebody like me who, yeah, is not really that good with fussy cutting because here you probably have to take your time and a lot of crafters, they really enjoy fussy cutting because they find it relaxing and yeah, they just enjoy creating all of those different clusters for their card front, for example. But if you are like me and fussy cutting is a little bit difficult for you because I always find that my hand hurts really quickly, then here these shapes they are a lot easier. So I think this is probably fairly easy to do. And I would probably use these as a background because again, I still think if you cut out like certain pieces here and layer this together with your paper set and then layer maybe like a um, focal point on top of those and I think that would work really nicely together. That's kind of how I'm thinking when I look at these different elements and I'm wondering, okay, I love layering my cards, so how could I do this with those pieces? And yeah, I just think here we have so much variety and this is really beautiful here as well. Also really nice for like Mother's Day or romantic occasions like Valentine's Day. Really cute here with the cameras. Very versatile. I love all of these vintage shabby chic elements. Kind of what you would find in your grandma's attic. Gorgeous. And here we have these frames, an old clock and then old books again. This is super cute here as well. Like a little jar with hearts in it. And here we start again and again with the cover sheet. So I love that because this way you have so many options. I hope that you enjoy this as well. So this was all for vintage love. And let's talk about these really quick before we move on to spring charm. So here, if you love sentiments and like I said, if you love the idea of layering lots of things together, then I thought this might be interesting as well. So this one is called Quotes and it's a cardboard die cut. And here it's about birthdays. So I hope you can see this. So this is already all cut for you. These are these chipboard quotes. And here it says, for, for example, let your dreams come true, best wishes, it's your birthday, take life to the fullest, on this special day, feel free, I wish you a great birthday, have a wonderful birthday. And I think these are so cool because they look like they have been done with a typewriter. So if you love this vintage feel, then obviously it would make sense to have a sentiment as well that yeah, also looks old in a way. So I thought here, because it looks a little bit like with an old typewriter, then I think this works perfectly together. So yeah, this is birthday related. Then here we have another one, which is wedding related. 
So here it says, takes his wedding ring, husband and wife, her and him, wonderful moments on your wedding day, um, together and forever, only you, you and me. So yeah, beautiful sentiments here for weddings. And again, works nicely together in this old rustic typewriter look. And last but not least in these cardboard die cuts, we have quotes. So here we have a simple thank you or love, love you very much, moments worth of memories, belief, never stop dreaming, I am where you are, um, it will be a good day, <laughs> heads up, never say never. So yeah, just some fun quotes here. Make your days count. And once again, I just love that they have these different looks to them and they're already all cut out for you. So um, you don't have to stamp them down and cut them out and so on. So here it's already all done for you. And last but not least, let's talk about this really beautiful release, which is called Spring Charm. And once again, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, and 6 by 6. And you know already the difference now. Once again, the 8 by 8 has these four shapes here to cut out. And 6 by 6 will have the same background as the main background here. And also we have these six double-sided papers and 12 designs with this bonus sheet. And here we have now the yeah, more typical spring look and these beautiful pastel colors like great for Easter or Mother's Day or even for birthdays and so on. Again, very versatile, not too kitsch, still in this slight vintage subtle chic, I would say, with this great distressed look. So here again, we have these, yeah, almost what looks like water droplets and then something that looks like a stencil, then these nice flowers. Here it's a bit more like, yeah, typical spring where you have a little bit of pink and lavender, this beige green look, so very subtle and airy. And then we have this wooden background. Oh, and I love this one. If you love kind of like a pastel color palette, then I think this is for you because this is so beautiful and very flowery, perfect for spring. And here we have this notes and kind of like a text, like a song text. And here more flowers. And again, this beautiful stencil here in the background. Then this wooden background again. And I think this is always great because look how nice this works together if you layer something on top. And here again, a beautiful flower combination and then one more gorgeous background. So what I like about this, that's why I'm trying to always um, explain a little bit about these different paper manufacturers, is that if you're into scrapbooking, obviously that makes sense to offer 12. However, if you like card making, then here you can use a lot of these, um, yeah, like flower motifs as well. Because there is nothing in here that's so big that you can't really cut it apart, that it's only for scrapbooking. So that's why I'm always trying to talk about layering. So hopefully <laughs> to make it easier to understand that I think it's versatile. You can use it for other smaller projects as well. Or obviously, if you don't want that, then 8x8 and 6x6 are here for you as well. And also, one more time, this really cool new basic paper set and this again on the cover inside and I love these postcards I don't know what it is about old postcards I just think it looks so beautiful and then here we have different stunning backgrounds and these gorgeous colors here This is so stunning. And two times we have extra extra sets. <laughs> Once again, one is called flowers and here it's called spring. Let's have a look at the flower one. So here the cover inside has these tags that you can cut out. So 
so they're really nice and then here we have these beautiful little flower elements and as i said before obviously you don't have to cut all of those you can also use them as a background and then we have leaves and then it starts again and here we have the spring version of it of spring charm and yeah cute little bunnies here so here we have these really cool frames inside the cover sheet to cut out and then here we have this i love this bunny i have to say this is so cute was well, this one look at that oh my god so adorable and uh, yeah beautiful little chicks to cut out and eggs so this is great for easter and to layer it all together and here we have more easter eggs then a church and a little chick here hatching from the egg and then yeah lots and lots of shabby chic details air balloons and then hearts and yeah this kind of farm chic look which also works nicely together with springtime then some of these vintage elements again and then some gardening elements so yeah lots and lots of choice here as well to layer it all together and that's it for me today i hope that you enjoyed these new releases as much as i do and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite was it vintage sky or vintage love or maybe spring charm and hopefully you got some inspiration for your spring makes and obviously i hope that you will have a crafty weekend and remember no stressy be messy and have fun see you next time <music>